So the final trend I'll share with you today involves how alumni want to engage with our institutions. Namely, and specifically, how they're demanding that we step up career-related services and programming, and that this is one of the trends that just came through loud and clear in the survey. Um, and, and we have to, felt we had to make, make some comments about this uh, for all of your benefit. What you see in front of you on the screen um, represents how alumni in the national sample responded to the question of what kinds of alumni activities they participated in last year. Again, this, is, this would be on the left-hand side of your screen of, of this table. Um, you have the ranking on the very left followed uh, right after that by last year attendance. That's what that means. Um, these are the events that alumni in our survey checked off as, as events that they, that they attended in the past year. And I want to just to note here, we're looking at these top, like particularly if we look at this top five events, athletic events, campus visits, regional alumni events, reunions, and homecoming, for example, these are pretty traditional types of alumni activities. We also asked them, however, um, what kinds of engagement activities they would like to be more involved with in the coming year. And you can see those ranked um, just to the right of last year's activities under next year preference in the table. Um, this exercise for us highlighted a couple of things. First, um, it, it certainly highlights what the trends are and, and, and what alumni care about um, getting, being more involved with. But second, it, it, more importantly, it, it, maybe it highlighted the, the gap or at least the perceived gap from alumni's perspective uh, between the current offering of uh, alumni engagement activities and the desired offering of alumni activities. So if you look at next year's preference, what you can see here is that the top five um, almost completely changes. Um, the only activity that remains in the top five in terms of what they want to be more involved with is athletic events, which is obviously very sticky with alum and popular with alumni. So in terms of the events that folks want to be more participate more in next year, they are regional alum alumni events, athletic events, networking events, and professional seminars. So what do each of these events have in common? They are all career related. And in fact, um, they are the only four activities, you know, four of the five, um, are the only four activities that moved up in these rankings um, based on those green arrows that change all the way to the right of this table. Um, two of the, all of, it, if you look at all 10 of these, two of them stayed about the same. The, the ranking didn't move a whole lot. Those were athletic events and, and volunteer activities. And then all of the other ones, including all of those traditional alumni activities, for the most part, with the exception of regional alumni events, all moved down in ranking. And I think this is just a really um, interesting trend to note. And it's also important to know what kind of alumni want more career, career programming. It's probably not um, widespread. There's probably some certain segments of the population that are demanding this more than others. And what you can see here, um, that the answer to that question is young alumni, which of course is a notoriously difficult seg segment of our alumni population to engage um, in the life of the university and also engage in giving. Um, alumni, the young alumni are represented here by that lighter blue color. Um, based on, on, on that, you might just think, you know, this must be just a cyclical process, um, that, that this demand for career services must just come up every time that the, that the uh, the uh, economy tanks, um, this, it's not to be, it's really not too surprising. And, and frankly, I thought the same thing. It is something we started seeing more of in 2009, and I, I really did initially chalk it up to the bad economy and, and possibly a, a, just a passing fad of some kind. Um, but the results from this survey, as well as data we've collected from other work EduVentures does, has really caused us to rethink um, those initial explanations and, and very logical explanations that we too, um, uh, you know, initially kind of gathered from looking at this data over the years. Um, what you're looking at here are the results from another study that EduVentures does through our enrollment management practice, the College Bound Market Update, it's called. Um, in that study, we ask a number of questions about the expectations about, um, about college from prospective high school students. 
And here you see the results to one of the questions. The question is, what is the most important reason for you to attend college? Um, and for the very first time, high school students seeking college admission ranked career preparation as the number one college expectation in EduVentures in, in this survey. Um, I'm not showing you all of the data, but this is just, just one piece. In this particular data point, we asked, what is the most important reason for you to attend college? And clearly, 66% said to prepare for a job or for a career. It came through in many different ways in that survey as well. These are, again, folks that are in high school that are preparing to go to college. Um, so what does this mean? You know, likely what this means for, for an institution like yours is that if you are like the 90% of schools in this, represented in this particular survey, uh, by the 63,000 alumni who took the survey, and, and, and chances are that you too may be missing the kind of the boat on engaging alumni um, in a career-related way more than you might think.